came back into the market in a very big way. What we know now is Wall Street can bring down Main Street. People are seeing this, and those memories of fear are coming back. When you have a 401k or a 403b, those kinds of accounts, they are incredibly susceptible to downturns. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped more than 900 points. More than 900 points. There are questions about how to best save for retirement. Part of the problem is confusion. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. The first rule on in investment is don't lose. And the second rule on in investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. When the market goes up, you go up. When the market goes down, you don't go down. Save money radio, your money safe and sound. Welcome to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistole. Brad is a retirement and income specialist, primarily serving Springfield, but he's sought after nationally for his expertise in helping people secure their retirements. Mr. Pistole is a licensed life insurance professional in the states of Missouri, Arkansas, and Kansas, and he specializes in working with people who are near retirement and those who have already retired with wealth management, income planning, and asset protection strategies. And now, here to talk with you about securing your retirement, your host, Brad Pistol. Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us again today on Safe Money Radio. If this is your first time ever listening, we have been on the air in the Ozarks for 15 years. Started off just in Missouri. Now we air in Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. But we also air all over the nation because there is a Safe Money Radio podcast. And so if you've never listened before, today's episode is a perfect example. We have a guest on with us, Don Graves, which I'm going to talk to him here in a minute. And you can always go to YouTube and watch this podcast interview because today we're going to be talking about something that we very rarely ever talk about on Safe Money Radio. We're going to be talking about the power to a tool in your retirement toolkit that you may not even know it exists and you may not ever hear anyone talk about it. So without further ado, Don Graves, thank you so much for joining us on the program today. <laughs> thank you, Brad. It's good to be here. Hey, I got to tell everyone, Don, a little story. So I was at our twice a year Ed Slot Master Lead IRA Advisor Convention and Training Program. The, the top 500 elite advisors in the country are involved, mm -hmm. as you know. And Don was there and he had a table about all of his stuff. He had his book out there. And I walked by and I thought, I know I know this guy. Why can't I place <laughs> this guy? And uh, and so we started talking and then I realized, oh, yeah, he was one of the teachers in the Retirement Income Certified Professional Program in the American College. So, Don, if you will, tell us a little bit more about yourself and, and tell us about your work with the American College. Sure. Thank you so much, Brad, for having me on. And I tell folks I have Kentucky sensibilities. Daddy's from Falmouth, Kentucky. Mama's from Winchester. They got married, and that's kind of my family there. Honor God, keep your word. Um, those are my sensibilities. And so I've been involved in this industry. I'm entering my 25th year of doing this. And about a decade ago, um, I was on a task force, and Dr. Wade Fowle says, Don, we should have you come and speak at the American College on this. And he set it up, and there were two deans, 17 faculty, and I began to talk about the important role that housing wealth was playing in creating sustainable retirement income plans. Well, from there, they put me on the cover of the website, and then it was off to the races, and they said, would you contribute some content to the Retirement Income Certified Professional designation? And so I did that, so people get me um, two or three hours if they make it that far. And so that's kind of my 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 world uh, with the American College, but my world and um equity release strategies for retirees, 25 years of doing this. Wow. Fantastic. Well, I want to say this. I'm so grateful to have you on the show and anyone listening right now, if they've been listening for a long time, they know we are the premier financial planning show in the Ozarks. We have key guest experts on the show. It's just not me, not me getting on, reading a script someone else wrote. I write all of my own material. I create all my own content and I have 
key people on the show. And so this is what really caught my attention. Don hands me this book and he says, listen, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go up to your room right now <laughs> and read the first five minutes of the book. Uh -huh. And Don, I don't know how many people actually do that, but I did it. Uh -huh. And I thought, wow, that is one of the most pow powerful stories I've ever read. And I love analogies <laughs> and stories. I use them all the time. So uh -huh. we're going to refer to it here in a minute, but I, I just want to, I want to share this for our listeners. And I'm of course reading from the book. If you're uh -huh. watching 12 simple ways to introduce the benefits of a reverse mortgage. And I thought, boy, here's the people that Don works with Ed slot, America's IRA expert CPA, mm -hmm. Dr. Wade Fowl, Tom Hegna, Heather Schreiber, and the list goes on and on. And so the first six people in the book, I thought they're all guests that have been on the show. They're friends, they're colleagues, people I've done work with videos with. And so um, we're, we are working with the same group of people. So now I'm thankful to call you a friend and colleague and have you on the program. We're super excited about today's show. Thank you, Brad. So listen, if you're listening right now for the first time ever, you can always call us anytime. We'll, we'll put it up on the screen if you're watching the podcast. If you're listening, the number is simple. It's 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. You can call in anytime, ask for a free consultation, ask for a copy of my best-selling book, Bulletproof, The Safe and Secure Retirement Income Plan, and you can always call us anytime. Okay, Don, we're going to jump right in. And I, I want to start with this. You uh, mentioned Dr. Wade Fowl before mm -hmm. uh, in the first episode. For the first time ever, just a few months ago, we had Dr. Wade Fowl on to talk about his book regarding reverse mortgages. Mm -hmm. And it's the first time we've ever talked about that as part of a safe, tax-free investment option uh, using an asset of yours in as a part of your retirement income plan. So I just want to, having you on as another expert who's worked with the American College on this, mm -hmm. I want to ask this question. What is a reverse mortgage and how does it work? What is a reverse mortgage? Well, if you're not careful, it's a good way to get killed at the barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it is. It's I almost mean, like mentioning the annuity word, right? <laughs> Don't talk about a reverse mortgage. I right? mean, you, you ever mention reverse mortgages at the barbecue? I tell folks what happened. Three people went under the table, three people left the table, and your Aunt Janie made a shank out of a plastic knife and fork and tried to get you. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's, don't touch my house. That's right. It's, it's yeah. just dangerous. But I remind folks, what is a reverse mortgage? I-J-A-M. Folks, write that down. It's just a mortgage. It's just a mortgage. It's okay. not new. Started in 1961 in America, uh, became part of the federal government under their um, oversight in 1988. So we've got 30 plus years. So it's not new. It's not dangerous. It's not spooky. It's just a mortgage. It's just a home equity loan for those okay. age 62 or better, that allows them to convert a portion of their home's value and turn that into tax-free dollars without giving up ownership, coming off title, or having to make any monthly mortgage payments. And so the reverse mortgage, to repeat, is a federally insured loan. That's the home equity conversion mortgage. Heck, okay. a federally insured loan for those age 62 or better allows them to convert a portion of their home's value turned into tax-free dollars without giving up ownership, making payments, coming off title, or having to um, um, give up any of your ownership. So it is a, it's just a mortgage for retirees. And then what we do and what you do is, well, how, how is it used strategically? And so that's what we're going to be talking about a little bit today. But can I tell you just a, a few more of the basics? Because some of the sure. questions I get, all right, Don, I get it. It's just a mortgage. Um, well, how do you qualify? Well, you got to have a residence, have a home, be over age 62, one of one of the spouses, and have some equity in the property. Well, how much money does a reverse mortgage make available? If you're watching or listening, draw a triangle. I'm going to put my hands up like a triangle. And yeah. three things. Number one, the age of the youngest spouse. It's actuarially based. So the older you are, the more money you get. Okay. Number two, the value of the property. And number three, what's called the expected interest rate or the future projected interest rate. So those three things, one, two, and three, go into a formula and a certain amount of money is going to be made available to you in the middle of the triangle. Now, right now, at the time of this recording, I might tell people say, Don, what's a ballpark? I say, well, take, take the age of the um, youngest borrower and subtract um, 30, age minus 30. Now, that's, that's very, very conservative. So if you have a 70-year-old, 
and you subtract 30, that gives you 40. So 40% of home value is the ballpark today because interest rates are a little higher. And so that gives you, um, so that's the benefit of the reverse mortgage. And a reverse mortgage must be a first mortgage. So any mortgages or loans you have have to be paid off. And what's left over is called a growing line of credit. And that's the most powerful feature of the modern reverse mortgage, that the okay. money available to you, think of a Visa credit card, is growing year after year. And from there, there are 52 retirement income boosting strategies that come from that. So that's what it is. That's how much money you get. Now, finally, when does the loan get repaid? The loan gets repaid when the last surviving borrower, husband or wife, permanently departs the house, moves, deceases, it's gone into a facility for 365 consecutive days. At that okay. time, the loan's going to become due and payable. What gets repaid is whatever money was advanced to you, plus any accrued interest gets repaid. Typically, the loan gets repaid because mama's house, when we started, was $400,000. 20 years later, it's $800,000. Right. And now your loan balance on the reverse mortgage is maybe $300,000. So the children sell an $800,000 home. This is very important. You pay off what mama borrowed plus accrued interest, 800 minus three in Falmouth, Kentucky used to be 500,000. Well, that, that's what Still remains. Is. And that's what passes on to the heirs, the estate, or if mama moved, that's what passes on with her. So those are the fundamentals of the modern reverse mortgage. Now, how it started, how much money you can get, um, the growing line of credit, and when the loan gets repaid. Perfect. Now, for those of you that are listening, I know I always say this, those of us who are experts in these fields tend to talk fast and we go through a lot of information because we know it really well, but you may be like, whoa, 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 let's back up. First of all, how much can I take out? What's the, what's the value going to be? What's going to happen when my kids inherit? We're going to go through those questions slowly on this program and we're going to tell you ways that you can learn more. But I want to use this as an example because when Don was saying that, it, it reminded me of just like this last month. We're recording this at the beginning of June in 2024. The month of May, my hair was on fire. I had a grandchild be born that was airlifted to a uh, children's uh, hospital in Kansas City. One of my children had emergency gallbladder removal surgery. I purchased a new home. I own three homes, so this, this information is important to me. And in the middle of all that, in about 14 business days, I wrote – and establish 30 different annuities for clients. That's right, 30 in 14 days and about $10.2 million in rollovers for clients. We also do manage money. We took on millions in managed money. But here's the thing, when it comes to an annuity, which is another product that you can use in retirement planning, people always ask the same question they do that Don just covered. Well, here's my money. Here's half a million. How much is that going to pay me? Well, it depends on several factors. Are you starting income today? Are you going to defer it for a while? What's the age of the owner? Do you want single payout or joint payout? If it's joint, what's the age of the youngest uh, marital partner? So it's going to be based on actuarial tables, how much went in, what's the age of the owner, or in this case, borrower, what's the age of the youngest borrower. There's, there's a lot of things like that that come into play. So that's why we always want you talking to an expert like Don regarding your own specific situation to find out how this is going to apply in your situation. So Don, to piggyback on the things you just shared, let me ask you this. You, you already mentioned that you've got to be 62. One of you has to be 62, to mm -hmm. a borrower. What are some of the different ways to take proceeds from a reverse mortgage? Sure. And Brad, I don't... Um... I recorded several courses at the American College, and I also have a master class that's about 47 minutes long. If you want to share that with your viewers, they can always watch the whole master class, stop, rewind, and all of that. Let me know, if, that, let me know if that's appropriate and when to share it. Yes, and, absolutely. We want that at the end of the show, and we'll try to put a link on this video for that also. Fantastic. So yes. the your questions, re repeat it for me. What are some of the different ways? I mean, there's all these different ways we can use a reverse mortgage, but what are some mm -hmm. of the different ways to take money out? Sure. How can you use it? So uh, let, let's use for an example, Mr. and Mrs. Flintstone, and they've got yeah. a $500,000 home and they're 70 years of age, Mr. and Mrs. Flintstone. And so they do a reverse mortgage. And remember age, value of the home, expected interest rate. So they now are eligible for $200,000. If you have a triangle, that's in the middle of the triangle, $200,000. Now, 
Now, a reverse mortgage must be a first mortgage. So if there's any mortgages or home equity loans, lines of credit, they have to be paid off from the reverse mortgage. Now, let's say there's not. So Fred and Wilma have $200,000 available in the reverse mortgage. What are some of the ways they can take the money? Number one, they can take it as a lump sum. They say, Don, just write me a check for $200,000. Yeah. I'll say to them, well, the government doesn't allow me to write you a check for 200000 I can write you a check for um, X amount the first year and then the rest of it after the um, end of the first year. That's a protective feature so you don't go down to the riverboat and spend it all. Right. <laughs> so right. you can have it as a lump sum with an asterisk. You can leave it in a growing line of credit. That is the most powerful way. Um, you can take it as a monthly payment. Don, how much money can I get per month from this for as long as I have the loan. You can take it as a, a period certain. Don, I just need the money for five years or seven or 13 years. Or you can do a combination. Don, I'm going to pay off my small mortgage at $50,000. i am going to take $500 a month and I'm going to leave the rest in the line of credit. So those are the five ways you can use or um, distribution patterns of the reverse mortgage. Lump sum, line of credit, monthly tenure payment, monthly term payment, or a combination of all of them. Wonderful. Well, listen, if you're just now listening, we have with us as a guest, Don Graves, a fellow retirement income certified professional who's talking to us about the power to this tool in your toolkit. And so I'm going to put this book up 12. If you're watching, if you're listening, it's 12 simple ways to introduce the benefits of a reverse mortgage. And I'll tell you this, um, Ed Slot will often say the problem with someone who doesn't know something is that they often do not know what they do not know. <laughs> So they're telling you something that they think is right, but they don't know that it's not because they don't know that they don't know the right information. Mm -hmm. If that was a lot, let me just give you an example. <laughs> Don gave me this book at a recent Ed Slot conference. He said, go read the first story. And in our next segment, we're going to talk about this. But I will tell you, two nights ago, I sat down and read the entire book because when I started, I couldn't finish it. And in talking about some of the different ways to take money out, there were two key things that I had dealt with that very week. And I had never heard of these concepts. Now, friends, I'm a retirement income certified professional. I'm a certified financial fiduciary. I'm a certified annuity specialist. I've been training with Ed Slot for 15 years. And Don taught me two concepts in this book I'd never heard of, thought through, blew my mind. So I probably slept through that part when I was reading Wade Fowle's book because I know it was in there. <laughs> but it, for whatever reason, it caught my attention right now because it was something I was dealing with with clients. So stay with us. Remember, you can call us anytime at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. If you want more information, just give us a call. So, Don, again, I want to talk about something that really caught my attention in your book, mm -hmm. uh, 12 Simple Ways to Introduce the Benefits of a Reverse Mortgage. You had me go read a story. And I don't want, if you don't want to give it away, you don't have to. But that story at the beginning of the book was so powerful, and it made me think about, why so many people are missing the benefits of a reverse mortgage and why they're so important. So you want to share part of the story or do you want to just tell us why, why you think so many people miss the boat when it comes to reverse mortgages? Why are they so important in a retirement income plan? I'll, I'll share the story and I'll, I'll answer all of that. When people Good. say, Don, what, uh, what a reverse mortgage, what, what's a reverse mortgage? I, I say it's an insurance policy. I said, it's a mortgage cleverly disguised, uh, or it's a financial planning tool cleverly disguised as a mortgage, but it's an insurance product. We insure yeah. our house, we insure our health, sometimes we insure our life, we insure our car, but how are we insuring our retirement income? And so most people, retirement's going to last longer, be more expensive and less predictable than ever in the history of the world. I don't know if you're like me, Brad, but I wake up every morning and see if something blew up overnight or some country invaded another country. I don't know what's happened overnight. Yes. And so retirement um, for the baby boomer, again, it's going to last longer, be more expensive, less predictable. And the average baby boomer in America is not prepared. They haven't saved enough. Um, they're highly indebted. And so what do you do? Uh, if you're If you're watching, you're listening, and you've there, there are primarily three buckets that a retiree has. They have their income bucket, Social Security, pension, employment. Um, they have their investment bucket, IRAs, 401ks, um, crypto, savings account, blah, blah, blah. And then you've got your insurance bucket, fixed and variable annuity, whole and term life insurance, um, so on and so forth. And I ask, is that enough? Is that going to work? 
Are you using all of your available assets, AAA, all available assets? And and it reminded me of a story that many people have never heard before, Brad. And I'm, listen, I'm here in greater Philadelphia, so you bleed green up here and football is the world. Right. And and I tell a story and, and of the 2007 New England Patriots, uh, most people, if, if even if you know don't know football, you know Bill Belichick or Tom Brady, and the 2007 yeah. Patriots went undefeated that year, hadn't been done and made it to the Super Bowl, and that hadn't been done since the Miami Dolphins. And Bill Belichick, wanting to solidify his greatness, implemented a strategy that many people never recognized: that though you can field 11 men. Um, on offense and defense and kickoff, Bill Belichick only fielded 10 men on kickoff. And then when they got possession of the ball, he only fielded 10 men. It took a while for the sports announcers to recognize, hey, they don't, they only have 10 men. They did this on defense and they went the whole game. So instead of playing 11 men, they only played 10. And then they beat the Giants, a confetti fell. And I tell people, have you ever heard that backstory of the 2007 Patriots? And people say, no. I had a group, the guy was fact checking me as I was telling it. And he said, Don, I've never heard that story. I said, because it's not true. <laughs> I said, That's right. <laughs> I it said, didn't happen. on the biggest stage and on the biggest day, the Super Bowl, watched by um, nearly a billion people, what coach would not put all of his best assets on the playing field to ensure victory, even if they thought they were dominant? There's no right. one in the history of sports on the biggest stage in the biggest day that doesn't put their best assets on the field. Yet, when it comes to retirement income planning, we, we've scaled the mountain, we've uh, planted our flag, we've taken our stance, and now we've got to come down the mountain of retirement. That's our biggest day and our biggest stage. But are we putting all of our assets, all our best players on the field to ensure victory? And so right. I say... Well, you've got your income bucket, your investment bucket, your insurance bucket, and I personally don't believe that's enough. The U.S. Census Bureau says that 87% of retirees in the United States have a fourth bucket, and that's called housing wealth. And what happens when you put housing wealth with the others? It opens up an opportunity to do things and have options that you may have never considered. You're literally putting the 11th man on the field at the Super Bowl to ensure, or at least give you the best chance of victory. So that's the story. I'm tickled by it, Brad. I've only been telling it a few years, but I love the the content. What stuck out to you about that when you read it? Well, I I love the story because here's what caught my attention. Okay. I think about my mother. My father was a financial advisor for more than 50 years. Mm -hmm. He died about 18 months ago. So I think about the annuities that passed on to my mom and she continues to get guaranteed lifetime income from one of her buckets. Mm -hmm. I think about social security, which is another bucket. Dad didn't have a pension as most people don't because he was Mm self-employed. So there's a gap there and she's now really watching it and really paying attention to everything. But I know, and I'm now I'm her financial professional helping her and holding her hand through all this stuff. But never before until reading through things like this did I think, well, wait a second. They've lived in a home since I was in the eighth grade and I'm 53. Mm-hmm. It's paid for. That That's an asset there that could provide lifetime tax-free income to her. And I had never even considered it. And I think so many people, Don, as you probably know, find themselves starving in retirement or going back to work or thinking, I don't have any other option. There's not another bucket of money to use here. I'm out of options. But they're sitting on a $400,000 home that they could use if they would talk to the right expert. Mm-hmm. So that was the first first thing that caught my mind. And then I also thought about my own situation. I own three properties. Everything's paid for. I have a massive amount of wealth in my primary home with no mortgage. There's a whole new window. You know, I've got all these annuities. I've done Roth conversions, Mm -hmm. Social Security. But now there's a whole other avenue that's got my mind thinking about my own personal retirement and how I plan to use that for tax-free income in the future. Because as you know, as our good friend Ed Slot says, there's something better than lifetime income 
that's tax-free <laughs> lifetime income, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so let me ask you this to, to piggyback on your story, which I love. Why wouldn't we all use every golf club in the bag? You know, professional golfers have four wedges. Mm -hmm. Why would you want just one? Right. Okay. Uh, if they don't like their putter, they take it out and put a new one in after that round. Mm -hmm. What are, what are some of the ways that a reverse mortgage can fit into a person's retirement plan today? Well, that's a, well, that's a great question. They, in the book you were holding up, um, yeah. uh, th this is for advisors, but um, I wrote a guide uh, for consumers, a retiree's guide to housing wealth. That's consumer focused. And um, actually, Ed Slot asked me to write mm -hmm. this book. And it's it was my favorite <laughs> until I wrote the new one. But yeah. the, the and you're right. Um, what... Michael Jordan in the in the 1992 Bulls in the championship, you play you play all five men, not four. Oh, the golfer puts 14 clubs in the bag. They may only use 10 that day or eight, but they 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 have all the what ifs. And so, here's what I say to consumers: You said what are what are some ways? One of the, I'm going to start with the low hanging fruit. This okay. is most common to the listeners or to the viewers, I want you to think about the last time you went to a family gathering where, where you knew people, maybe age 55 and older. And here's the question. How many of those folks who were homeowners at the last gathering where you knew people, how many of those homeowners had on their property a mortgage, a second mortgage, a home equity loan or home equity line of credit? One of those four. And you think about it. And most people say, well, my last one was a, a gathering I went to here, uh, Memorial Day. My guess is, 90%, 100% of everybody who had a home had one of those. And it's absolutely true. And that the majority, and that the, my new article came out Monday in uh, Retirement Daily, 10 benefits of eliminating a monthly mortgage uh, payment. But here's the point. Um, the low-hanging fruit is 68 to 98% of retirees, depending on where you're at, have some sort of loan payment against their property. That's fine. That's fine. At 55, it may not be so much at 65 or 75. So here's a, a very common um, strategy. Here's a question to your viewer or to the listener. Here it is. I'm going to ask two questions. Same question, two different ways. Here's the first one. What would retirement be like if you didn't have to make a monthly mortgage payment? Hmm. What would retirement be like if you didn't have to make a mandatory monthly mortgage payment. I want you listener viewers to let that sink in, right? And the second question, I say, Mr. And Mrs. Jetson, I see that you're making, um, you're already making a, a monthly payment of $1,500 a month. I'm curious, if you had a choice, would you rather that payment be mandatory or voluntary? What would you choose? Mm. Now, every one of your viewers or listeners who heard that you felt something on, in, on your inside, in your tummy. Right. As soon as I said, if you had a choice, would you rather that payment be mandatory or voluntary? My guess is 100% put their hand up and said, voluntary. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. And I would say, uh, me too. Mr. and Mrs. Jetson, why would you want a voluntary payment? Now, Brad, I want you to answer that Um You've got a retired client, 70 years old, making a $1,500 a month mortgage payment, mandatory. They can't stop it. And you ask them that question. Yeah. And they say, Brad, yes, voluntary. And you say, tell me why. How would that help you? What are some of the yeah. things you believe you would hear them say? Oh, my goodness. Well, they could. it would free up money for them to do maybe things that they've wanted to do. They can't take vacations right now. They would want to help their kids, but they're not able to. Uh, just just freeing up other income and other opportunities for them if they didn't have to make that payment. Absolutely. You'll hear words like freedom, flexibility, control, spend less, save more, um, yeah. do more, help the grandchildren. It was uh, an article I, I wrote. It was Ed Slot that helped me to remember uh, to do this. I We did a case study and the client had a monthly mortgage payment of uh, $2,000 a month, principal and interest. Okay. And Ed Slot asked me, hey, Don, if the reverse mortgage eliminates this $2,000 a month payment, you do the reverse mortgage, that's gone away with. He said, how much money are the people saving every month? 
Now that stunned me. I thought, man, this guy's a CPA. I thought he's supposed to be pretty smart. I, yeah, good at math. And I said, well, well, two thousand dollars, Ed. And he said, not necessarily. He says if they're taking money out of a qualified, a plan taxable, it may take them. Watch this. It may take them twenty five hundred dollars pre tax, and they'll pay state and federal income tax for them to net two thousand dollars. Right. So if you eliminate that monthly mortgage payment, you're actually saving them $2,500 a month pre-tax times 12. That's $30,000 a year that stays in their retirement savings plan. So that could yes. mean greater spending for them if they want it or greater savings because now that bucket's going to last 10 to 14 years longer. And because we're not taking out $30,000 in um, qualified money, it's going to reduce our ordinary income tax. And if you're on Social Security, it's reducing your provisional income tax by $30,000. So we That's can reduce right. we can reduce your taxes. We maybe get you a lower tax bracket. We can extend the life of your savings. We can give you joy, peace of mind, freedom from concern, spend more without worry. It just becomes amazing. And so the lowest hanging fruit that every person listening if you don't have a mortgage, home equity loan, line of credit, or, or um, second mortgage, well, you're 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 fortunate. Most people in America do, and so the low hanging fruit is if you say to someone over sixty two, anybody, did you know there's a voluntary mortgage payment program that's available to all retirees in the United States? They right. look at you at the grocery store. I mean, don't be careful if you say it at the Baptist church, because they're going to drag you up before the deacons and make you repent. <laughs> lying. <laughs> lying. Right. We got a liar here in Kentucky. And That's I said, right. no, there, there's there's a voluntary mortgage payment um, program for every retiree in the United States. Did you Have you accessed that? Well, that's the low-hanging fruit. And you say, so now an advisor has freed up, or the client has freed up $2,000 or $800, whatever the after tax money is now just go to town on that. Yes. Um, yes. What, what can you do with that? Well, you can spend more. You can, you can help. A lady says two days ago, uh, my grandson's in college and um, he's covered, but he needs a little extra, just a little extra, right. about $400 a month. Well, getting rid of their monthly mortgage payment helps them help that one grandchild and another because they've got that income that they were used to spending. Other folks are just like, hey, I don't want to spend it at all. I'm just going to make my savings last longer. And so there are lots of benefits in retirement boosting income. Um, and, and Don, I want to say yeah. this because you made me think of something that you know both you and I deal with all the time. And we're seeing this more and more because grandparents are raising their grandchildren. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times they're living with them. And so here's another thing it can help do. A lot of times it can help stop the job they have in retirement because they're working after retirement to be able to afford to help out other people. And so accessing this money might let them stop a job they don't even want to be working at. So I, I know our listeners well enough. I've been on the radio five times a week for 15 years. I know what's going on in their mind right now. They're saying, OK, this there's this voluntary program, Don. How in the world does this work? Uh -huh. Let's talk about that right after this break. Just real quick, if you're listening. You can always call in 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. We will put you in touch with Don. We will give you the information you need to learn more about this. You can come in for a free financial consultation. We will have you take the RESA, the Retirement Income Style Awareness Questionnaire for retirees to find out where you're at in your retirement plan. We pay for this for you. Call us anytime. We will meet with you free of charge, 866-780-7233. Now, friends, if you're just now listening and joining us, we've got Don Graves with us today, Retirement Income Certified Professional. We're talking about another one of our safety buckets, another insured bucket for retirement planning, which is what we always talk about on Safe Money Radio. We've been talking about reverse mortgages for people age 62 and above. We've been talking about all the different ways you can use it, the fact that it's tax-free, before the break, Don was talking about this voluntary uh, mortgage payment. If you didn't have to make the payment, you don't have to. Don, tell us how that works. How, how is it a voluntary mortgage payment? Sure. So the, the concept is what is a home equity conversion mortgage, nicknamed reverse mortgage? It's a federally insured loan for those 62 or better, allows them to convert a portion 
of their home's value turned it into tax-free dollars without having to make a payment, give up ownership of the home. And so the amount of money you get, this goes into the voluntary payment, is based off of this triangle of age of the youngest spouse. Someone has to be 62. The other one only has to be age 18. Um, okay. Except for Texas, you have to be both six. So age of the youngest spouse, value the home, interest rate. That goes into a formula, and then there's a certain amount of money made available in the middle of the triangle. Let's use Fred and Wilma Flintstone. $500,000 home, a reverse mortgage, middle of the triangle, $200,000. Now, Fred and Wilma have a mortgage on their property. So a reverse mortgage must be a first mortgage. Follow along. So Fred and Wilma have a monthly mortgage, uh, a mortgage of $200,000 against their property, and they're paying $2,000 a month. Every month, can't stop it. Most of us know how that works. If you stop making your mortgage payment, the sheriff is coming. Coming. (laughs) So the $200,000 Fred and Wilma had in the middle of the triangle, underneath the base of the triangle, if you're writing, we put whatever you owe. So we put minus the minus symbol, $200,000, because the reverse mortgage pays off Fred and Wilma's um, $200,000. When it does that, Brad, their monthly mandatory, their MMMP, their mandatory monthly mortgage payment, principal and interest of $2,000 goes away. It's gone. The reverse mortgage has eliminated their mandatory monthly mortgage payment. That's okay. a relief. There's benefit in that all along. And so um, so I say to folks, here's the, when you get a reverse mortgage, the first thing it does, it pays off what you owe. That mortgage payment goes away. And so that's how we, but you can make a payment. That's a whole strategy in and of itself. Um, last year, you said, Don, uh, were, were you at that slot last year? And then people on the podcast may be, not be able to see this, but yeah. I shared this uh, making a payment in retirement the Fred and Wilma Flintstone story. And I said, when we get rid of their monthly mortgage payment, if they want to, they can make a voluntary payment, meaning you can pay the same $2,000 you were paying Mm -hmm. that was mandatory, and you can pay it back to the reverse mortgage voluntary. Why? That gives you some freedom, some flexibility, control. You don't have to make a payment. You can pay more, pay less. You can stop, you can start. I don't know who wouldn't want that in retirement. But um, outlined in the book, and if you're watching and view it, it says every time they made a monthly a mortgage payment, their loan balance went down, but their line of credit balance went up. And see here, it's almost $1.6 million right. <laughs> at the 30-year mark, right. which is if I'm working with the buckets in retirement and I can get rid of a um, mandatory monthly mortgage payment, VMMMP, and make mm-hmm. it voluntary, um, that's all the reverse mortgage does. It eliminates the mandatory payment. It's gone. Now, right. if you want to make a monthly mortgage payment back to the reverse mortgage, there are definite benefits in doing that. Um, some people do, some people don't. My plan, when my wife turns 62, uh, I'll be 63 in a few years, we're going to do this. We're going okay. to buy our next home, and we're going to make a voluntary payment on the reverse mortgage. Don, why are you going to do that? One, because I still plan to be working and I'll be able to do it. But two, I want my line of credit and the reverse mortgage to be two or three million dollars so that we've got um, some money in case there's sickness, affliction, uh, economic uncertainty, whatever may come up in the future. I don't want to just rely on my income bucket, my investment bucket or my insurance bucket. I want to have a fourth bucket Yes. At my disposal. Why? Because retirement is going to last longer than I thought, be more expensive than I imagined and less predictable. Don, let me stop you for a minute because I want to come back and ask you a specific question about this because I love real life examples. So if someone's listening to the show for the first time, they haven't seen this, they need to know. But if you've listened several times or for years, know that in the first week of June, I had a guest on this show. He is a former and newly retired professor from the American College where Don has done a lot of work. Mm -hmm. His name is Kevin Lynch. He resides in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. He found me online, um, was listening to, I think, an Ed Slot podcast where I was interviewing Ed. He looked me up. He contacted me. 
and he, he sends me this email and says, I won't be your typical client, but I need your help. And when I look at his signature line, I see 23 different financial designations, <laughs> including his CFP, his RICP. And I think, why does this guy need my help? But long story short, he becomes a client. He, he shares with everyone. He's so good at teaching everyone else how to set up their retirement. But when it came to putting his own plan together, he realized he needed a coach or someone to help. So I helped him with that. But as I'm helping him, I'm realizing this guy has forgotten more than I will ever know about financial planning. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that on his statement of all the stuff he gave me that he had a home equity line of credit and that it was growing substantially. And I started thinking, why does this guy with 23 different financial designations have this line of credit? Because it was a weakness in my game. I did not understand the reverse mortgage. Mm -hmm. So he was just here. He came to Branson, Missouri for vacation. He did a podcast with me. If you haven't seen it, you need to go to YouTube, type in Brad Pistol, Kevin Lynch. It just started to air. He talks about his own use of a reverse mortgage. Sure. And Don, this is the part where I'm saying they're going to call us in and call us liars at the Baptist Church. You said he talked about making seven to eight percent on his home equity line of credit. How in the world is that possible? Sure. Kevin's a friend of mine. Very and, good. Uh, so I, I, I know his story very well. We'll just yeah. <laughs> we'll good, say that. Good. And um, he's a strategic thinker, and it's yes. important. And so one of the things he may have talked about is him making a voluntary payment and, and how we set that up for him. And again, the, and what we didn't talk about, one of the, the most strategic ways of reverse mortgage, if you're listening, uh, the amount of money you get is based off age, value of the home, interest rate. And there's a certain amount of money that goes in the middle of the triangle. A reverse mortgage must be a first mortgage. So any mortgages underneath have to be paid off. And what remains is what's called a GLOC, a Glock. It's not a yeah. weapon, Brad. It's not, and I right. know you Missouri boys think of a Glock as some sort. It's not that type multiple. of weapon. <laughs> it's not that type of weapon. Okay. But it is a financial weapon, a growing line of credit, GLOC, a growing line of credit. When the program uh, came under the uh, auspices of the Federal Housing Administration in 1988, signed into law by the 100th Congress and the uh, 40, um, 40th President, Ronald Reagan, I believe, signed it into law in 1988. What they said is when you get a reverse mortgage, um, whatever money you haven't used, it's going to be in a line of credit, and that's going to grow. You can't okay. make it not grow. And so it's going to grow. And people say, I've never heard of a, a growing line of credit. I've never seen one. I said, I bet you have. Said, no, Don, I've never had a growing line of credit. I said, I'm sure you have. You just didn't know it. And I said, now, Mrs. Jones, Mr. And Mrs. Jones, have you ever had a Visa credit card? Maybe you flew on American Airlines and they say, we'll give you this credit card today, blah, blah, blah. And maybe it's a $2,500 credit limit on it, but you signed up for it. And then two years later, they raised it to $3,000 credit limit. Right. And then they raised it to, now I've had my American uh, Airlines credit card. I think my credit limit is $20,000, but it didn't start there. But they said, oh, this guy's a good, he, he pays it off. And they keep raising your credit limit. And I said, that's a growing line of credit. You've seen yes. it in your credit card. So when you start out with a reverse mortgage, let's say um, on the screen here, uh, some people can't see, but it's $200,000. Here's this couple, 65 years of age. They've got a $200,000 and they don't touch their line of credit. So notice um, at age 85, it's grown to 700,000 and 95, $1.4 million. Simply stating, the reverse mortgage has a built-in guaranteed minimum growth factor that cannot be frozen, capped, canceled, or reduced as long as you're meeting the obligations of the program. Mm -hmm. Now, there, there are four obligations of the program. Uh, put a pen in that. Let me just say that because people, someone's listening or watching and saying, wait a minute, I know someone who had an uncle, had a friend, had a cousin, had a grandfather, got a reverse mortgage and lost their house. Yeah. And, um, or Don, I, I've heard horror stories. And I said, I've heard them too. For 25 years, I've heard them. Right. And so typically I say now, let me ask you four questions about your friend or your cousin, your aunt, or uncle. I said, why did why did their father get a reverse mortgage to begin with? Their mom and dad. Well, I don't know. Um, what did they do with the money when they got it? Not sure. How come they didn't tell you about it or their children? I don't know. 
would their children have been able to provide a, a line of credit of a million dollars if they had? Yeah. I said, so you don't really know what happened. But here, here's what goes on. People say, Don, people lose, get a reverse mortgage. Isn't that the loan where the bank, bank loans you the money and, you, and they take your house? No, no. IJM, folks, it's just a mortgage. Bank doesn't take the house. It's a, it's a mortgage on the right. property. So four requirements when you get a reverse mortgage. Number one, one spouse has to live in the property. So be careful, husband. She can put you out and still have it. Number two, right. live in the house. Um, take care of it. Don't let a tree fall through. Uh, keep insurance in force. And number four, pay your property-related charges, um, taxes, HOA association fees. So I was in West Texas, saw a big article front page of the newspaper. It says couple holding, walking their grandbaby, and it says West Texas client, West Texas seniors lose their home to a reverse mortgage. Terrible, terrible story. Okay. And, um, and it took me 24 paragraphs to find out why, what happened. And Brad... Yeah. Here's what we discovered. They hadn't paid their property taxes in four years. Right. In four years. So I don't know what happens in the Ozarks or happens out there where you're at. But I know in, in Falmouth, Kentucky or Greater Philadelphia, if you haven't paid your property taxes, the sheriff is coming. Right. It, it, you're, there'll be a tax lien sale or sheriff. You're going to lose your property. And yep. so what happens is people don't tell that part of the story. And so but listen, folks. Live in the property, take care of it, pay your taxes, keep insurance enforced. So those four things. So the growing line of credit is going to grow. Um, right now, it's probably growing at, here, I'll tell you. Yeah, about 8.3, 8.4% today. Wow. So, Don, thank you so much. I just want to put your information up on the screen again. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that people that are watching right now want to know how to get in contact with you. We're going to have that information on the screen. And so I want to ask one one or two more questions. We've got to wrap up. But yes, sir. just real quick, I know one of the biggest questions is, and we talked about it just briefly, but when it comes to reverse mortgage, when it comes to home equity line of credit, tax-free distributions, there's so many incredible things it can do. We didn't even talk about how you can use it to do powerful Roth conversions, mm -hmm. leaving other assets on the table while you use this tax-free money, mm -hmm. stopping IRMA premiums, stopping Social Security taxation. We'll talk about that more on our next show. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you one of the biggest questions. The reason people will hesitate, my generation and older, is because, but what about my kids? Mm -hmm. If I do this, they won't get my home. I'll lose my house. Mm -hmm. If you will, just real quick, address this massive misconception and talk about how this works in retirement. What about the kids? Sure. And less than 2% of children are going to move into mom and daddy's house. That's the first thing. 2%. And, and so your kids are going to, they don't want your house. They want the money. And yes. so they're going to sell your house, pay off whatever you owe to whomever you owe. And then they're going to split the proceeds. And right. so when it comes to a reverse mortgage, hey, Don, and this is the conception, um, i the kids are not going to get the house. Yes, Mrs. Jones, they're going to get the house. And they're going to get the house, and they're going to pay off whatever loan balance there is, and they're going to split the difference. Here's right. the question. Um, if we were able, if you had a million dollars, and this is the researcher, uh, Dr. Wade Fowl and I, you had a million dollars in a standard portfolio with ups and downs, right. and it was designed to last 30 years. But during a down market like 2022, you took money out of that portfolio to live on. If there was a way that you didn't have to take out money during the dips and use another source, would that make a difference? Well, that's the, the work of Dr. Wade found. He says, well, set up a reverse mortgage line of credit. And if we used it one time over 30 years, instead of you having zero dollars, you'd have anywhere between eight, uh, 800000 and $1.2 million at the 30 year mark. If you used it four times, meaning I don't take money out of my portfolio when the market's down, I take it from this other bucket. Right. He said, and he proved that in 30 years, instead of you having zero dollars, if you used your reverse mortgage four times, you'd have about $4 million left over at the 30 year mark. So that means it didn't take any money away from your children at all. It actually right. left them more money Yes. And yes. so there's the counterintuitive. And so I say, now, if that's your concern, there, there are five concerns in retirement, longevity, um, lifestyle, liquidity, legacy, and long-term care. If legacy is your concern, then we structure 
the reverse mortgage in your consultation to make sure you leave the children as, as much money as possible, even if that means you moving to an efficiency apartment, eating tuna, that most people say, no, no, wait a minute, that's too much, that's too far. And I said, but the point is, um, I can show you how to leave the children more money mm -hmm. than less money if that's your goal, if that's your goal. So no, we're not taking anything away from the children, but we have to work with the buckets you have to make sure that you have enough financial oxygen. That mm -hmm. is, if the cabin loses pressure on the airplane and the oxygen mask come down, the flight attendant says, put yours on first before right. helping others. I want to make sure you have enough financial oxygen to last the entirety of the flight. And then if that's your goal, then the children will get, they're going to get the orchard and not the apple tree. I wrote about that in the book. A lot of yeah. people say, well, I want the kids to have the house. I said, no, um, you want them to have the orchard. You want them to have the house plus the, be the beneficiary of the Roth and the beneficiary of the IRA, the beneficiary of the life insurance. You want all of that to work together, that they don't get the apple tree. They get the orchard. And I'm going to show you how to leave a bigger orchard by leveraging the apple tree. This is so good. Friends, if you're just now tuning in and you missed it, go back and watch the whole thing. If you're listening on the radio, just go watch this on YouTube it, and, and type in Brad Pistol, Don Graves. It'll pull up. You can watch the whole thing. We're going to have his contact information in there. We're always talking about safe options in retirement planning. And so we talk about the power of annuities to offset market fluctuation. Now you have another tool in your toolkit. Just if you missed the whole show, just this last segment about how using a reverse mortgage one time, three times, four times can protect you from the down, downside years if you're using uh, assets that go up and down with the market. Stop those loss years and use this. It's so powerful. So we're out of time, but Don, real quick, what's your contact information for people to learn more about you? Sure. The easiest way is to go to askdongraves.com, www.askdongraves.com, and, and you can find out everything, get a, get a hold of me. And for some, they say, Don, I'd like to watch, do you have a whole masterclass on it? Sure. You can go to housingwealthmasterclass.com, www.housingwealthmasterclass.com, and that's where I share um, all the basic principles of it's just a mortgage, it's not a last resort, and it's more than a television commercial. I share <laughs> those three yeah. things. Stop, rewind, pause, go back, play it again. So though AskDonGraves.com gets to me, HousingWealthMasterclass.com gets the training. And call us anytime if you want more information. I certainly have Don's contact information, 866-780-7233. Don, thank you so much. All those listening and watching, thank you. Join us, join us again every week. Subscribe to Safe Money Radio Podcast with Brad Pistole, and we will have Don back on as a guest in the near future. Well, I'm about out of time, and I would like to thank you for listening to Safe Money Radio. If you're serious about your financial future, give me a call, and together we'll get your retirement savings on the fast track to accumulation while reducing exposure to market losses. Thanks for listening, and until next time at the same time, I'm Brad Pistole, reminding you to stay safe so you can step into a secure future. Save money radio, your money savings out. You've been listening to Safe Money Radio with your host, Brad Pistole. Find out how to contractually guarantee that your hard-earned money is safe while avoiding market loss so you can have the retirement that you deserve. Call Brad Pistole now for your complimentary Safe Money book and Safe Money information kit at 866-780-SAFE. That's 866-780-7233. Safe Money Radio, your money safe. The preceding information does not represent tax, legal, or investment advice. Surrender charges apply to base contracts. Optional lifetime income benefit riders are used to calculate lifetime payments only and are not available for cash surrender or in a death benefit unless specified in the annuity contract. Fees may apply. Guarantees are based on the financial strength and claims paying ability of the insurance company. No information presented today should be acted upon without meeting with a qualified and licensed professional. Obviously, by calling us now, you are just taking the first step towards protecting your retirement. It's important that you read all insurance contract disclosures carefully before making a purchase decision. Rates and returns mentioned on this program are subject to change without notice.